welcome to Women Who Win, a global media platform to empower women. This is your host, Anita Chitnis from Boston, Massachusetts. Our guest today is a very distinguished and prominent individual, Mr. Jack Meyer, who has not only had an extraordinary career in investment management, but has also played a very important role in several philanthropic organizations. Mr. Jack Meyer is Chairman Emeritus Board of Directors of AUW Support Foundation. He was a former president of Harvard Management Company and former senior partner of Convexity Capital Management in Boston. What is AUW? There is an African quote that goes, if you educate a man, you educate an individual, but if you educate a woman, you educate a nation. AUW is an institution devoted to educating women from developing nations in Asia. Founded by Mr. Kamal Ahmed, it is based in Chittagong City, Bangladesh, and was opened in 2008. A very warm welcome to Mr. Jack Meyer. Mr. Meyer, it is indeed a great honor to have you here with us today. You were one of the early key supporters for AUW along with others. What led you to become the co-founder of AUW? How did this journey begin? Well, thank you, Anita. I think we have to go back to the Rockefeller Foundation in the 1980s. Um, I worked there. My job was to manage the foundation's endowment. Uh, and I became very good friends with Kamal Ahmed, who subsequently founded the Asian University for Women. His job was to think big thoughts, and he was very good at that. Uh, Rockefeller Foundation was a very competent foundation. It, and to our view, that would be Kamal's and mine when we were at the Rockefeller Foundation and a lot of other converts at Rockefeller, that's something in the developing world is women's education. Uh, why? I'll list a couple quick reasons. Uh, while women in the developing world are devalued and certainly not educated as well as men, they nonetheless make many of the important decisions about health, education, the environment. And without education, they don't make these decisions well. Uh, another point is women shape value systems and transmit traditions. And third, if you ignore women, you lose half of your talent base. In today's world, you're simply not going to be able to compete. It's like a silver bullet. It treats everything. Now, it's not as though Kamal and I were the first two people to have figured this out. Um, obviously, um, the UN Millennium Project is covered with references to women's education. Uh, my favorite on their list is uh, women's education is the most effective use of your philanthropic dollar. I can't tell you how many times I've said that over the past 15, 20 years. So uh, obviously, this is the germ of the Asian University for Women. Kamal and I talked about it for years and years. Uh, when I left the Rockefeller Foundation in the 1990s, I, I, I told Kamal, I know you're gonna do this. And when you do it, give me a call, okay? I'm in. So around um, 2000 or so, he called and all I said was, I'm gonna do it. And all I said was, sign me up. Right. And so we started working on it um, very seriously in 2000. And, and in 2008, the school opened and it's still going. Um, so uh, that's how it got started. Uh, and women's education in, in the developing world is the key to progress. Wow, so, uh, probably a long answer to your question, but that's my answer. That was fascinating. That's a great story. Thank you. Now, some of the students at uh, AUW come from marginalized and underrepresented populations like indigenous communities, daughters of landless farmers, former garment workers, you know, for women from conflict zones like Afghanistan and Syria, Yemen. Could you tell us about the key mission for AUW? That was where I was going. The key mission, to start with the mission because it's very important. And way back in the 1980s, Kamal and I spent hours, days figuring, okay, if we do do this university, what's it gonna be like? 
What are we going to focus on? What's it, its mission going to be? And the simple mission is give an outstanding education to a group of talented women who would then embed themselves across the region and change the world. That's the key mission. But there are parts of it that are very important. And let me list three. Uh, one is the, the focus of the education is to be on problem solving, um, critical thinking, and leadership. And that is absolutely critical. The, we, we did not want the rote learning that is so common with women in Asian education. Look, we want young women who are gonna change the world. We want movers and shakers. Number two, um, we wanted all this to be, we wanted to go first class, top students, top teachers, top facilities. We wanted to send the message that women's education is to be valued. So that was a second mission. And I say we're very happy that Moshi Softy has designed the campus for AUW. And I'll just say one word, it's magical. Uh, and the third mission, absolutely critical, is that AUW was to be diversified by region, by religion, by ethnicity, and by socioeconomic class. Uh, when our students graduate from AUW, they will understand tolerance, which is so very, very important. Um, because they will have lived it for four years. They're all living together in six people dormitories and they come from maybe 17 different countries. They understand tolerance and that's going to help a lot when they go out and, and change the world. So in terms of mission, uh, those are the three things I would mention as, as being particularly important. So you're right, we find groups all over the region that are certainly not well served uh, in terms of education. And, and one of them was right there in, in Bangladesh. Um, and it was the garment workers. Obviously uh, the garment industry is huge in Bangladesh. Um, and we knew in the factories, et cetera, that there had to be women who were very talented and let's see if we could find some and convince them that they should come to AUW. And we did find some, we found quite a few and it's a big group and we found quite a few. But one of the problems we had was <clears throat> it, it, wasn't, it wasn't money because we were going to give them scholarships. So that, that was not it. But the problem was their parents would miss the income that they got from the garment workers. And so what we did is in essence, put together some scholarships that paid the factories, the salaries of the women when they were at AUW. And that, that everybody was happy. That worked out very nicely. Parents happy, students happy, garment people were very happy because they think you know, when they finish this school, they're gonna come back and run our factories for us, which they might very well do. So sorry, that was, off your question, but I just wanted to tell that story. No, thank you. That was really interesting to learn. Now, recently, AUW has helped with the resettling of 148 Afghan young women students at different universities in the United States. Mr. Kamal Ahmed has been instrumental with helping these young women evacuate Kabul with the recent withdrawal of the US from Afghanistan. AUW has started a great mentorship program for these students. How can our viewers help uh, with this course? I love questions like that. How can <laughs> I help? <laughs> right, well, this, this program has been terrific and uh, it's, it's not right to call it exciting because it was terrifying for the young women as you might imagine. But it seems to be I mean, a very happy ending thanks to just a whole bunch of different groups including the universities here in the United States who have taken on the education for this group of women. Uh, just to be clear, so these students were not at school in Bangladesh. They were in Afghanistan when everything happened uh, in the fall. 
And so they, and they, the school was not open. So they could go not, couldn't go back to the school, COVID, et cetera, right? So uh, they were flown back um, to first to Saudi Arabia, uh, then to Spain, then to Washington, DC, um, uh, primarily by the US military, which by the way, I asked Kamal about this and I said, so how did the servicemen react to all this? And he said, they were absolutely wonderful. They took such good care of these young women and, uh, and were just, they were marvelous. So I just want to give a, a little advertisement there to the US military. They did a fantastic job. Uh, so uh, the school's closed. So uh, these young women will finish their education in the US. And I think there are 12 or 13 schools who accepted them and they are here and they're going to work. And uh, this, is, this is fabulous. And the schools, by the way, are, are paying for them in effect. They've given them scholarships. So um, this, is, this is terrific. Yes, uh, everyone's coming together to help these young women in the country. It's just amazing. And AUW has done such a fabulous job. Thank you, Mr. Meyer, for your time today. And we wish you the very best in all your great endeavors. <music>